Welcome back to my Let's Play for Wild Arms 3, and yeah, I really haven't had time to double back to town just yet, which kind of sucks, but I did figure out the password for this. It's the magic word, after all. Yeah, the repeated um, use of the guiding word in there was meant to tell us that it was, in fact, the password, so yeah. Unlike my expectations, this actually is a two-word password. Which is annoying, I have to admit, because it goes against the grain of most of the rest of these games. When you have to do these enter passwords things. Oh great, I got jumped. Just what I needed. Well, at least I was ambushed by stuff that, you know, can't do too much damage. Ha! <laughs> Stas Ward. Unfortunately, that didn't protect my healer. He's now paralyzed. But at least they're weak to light magic, so I can take them down two turns easy enough. Heck, if I get lucky and get a critical hit, I can take him down in one shot. Probably. I can't heal him, though. My healer's the one that's locked up. The real question of you is do I have to um, open a chest after this fight? Because that would indeed suck. Because um, everyone's luck right now is pretty freaking bad. Okay. You got lucky. I think the blue bracer offers a stas ward though. Now who to put on? I guess we can put on a moon spark. Yeah, I thought so. Interesting. Well, no. Let's move on to this room, I suppose. Let's see, a bookshelf, huh? The truth that gave birth to life catches your eye. That's a weird title. Wavering wisdom, huh? Let's see. Its discovery was a coincidence. The first group of scientists, which later went on to form the first consul, came to contact with the wisdom deep within a ruin. The ruin was named Mimmer's Well, and was set up as a base of operations to analyze the wisdom. The wisdom was determined to be a crystallization of wisdom, dating all the way back to the Great War. Due to its advanced and dangerous nature, the wisdom was concluded to be technology of demons from folklore. This wisdom or artifact left behind by the demons was accumulated and stored inside an emulator zone, a memory area similar to human memory. These can also be considered as memories left behind by demons. The scientists named the information library that existed inside this emulator zone, Hades. Hades and the wisdom left behind were analyzed by the group of scientists for many years to come. Their goal was to utilize the power that once destroyed the planet to try and rejuvenate the planet. Wisdom is something that wavers. Its value and its use are not meant to be used in one place. And it was not very wise to use the wisdom of demons. Quite frankly, you should just destroy that place. Hades is going to be nothing but trouble. Um, and you know that considering it's named after the god of the underworld. Um, sure, his name's H-A-D-E-S in English, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's an alternative spelling or something. It's still going to be a reference to him, you can tell, it's pretty obvious. I guess we should see what this one's about. The many secret ceremonies stored inside the information library of Hades gave people the means of creating new life. Oh, great. You know how bad that idea that is. The truth gets really upset when you go and create life with alchemy and stuff. I wonder what he took from him when he tried to do it. <sighs> well, I guess we'll never know. Golem. This is said to mean unborn child. A steel machine that carries out orders in a detailed and precise fashion. Yes, it is a machine. However, not only does this mechanical golem carry out orders, it compares past memory data to perform the most appropriate action. It has a will of its own, 
In fact, it's safe to say it is a life form with its own personality. It's not a life born from life, but a life born from truth. This is a golem. How close is this truth to God? That's pretty darn darn arrogant for you to ask. Okay, what's on here? Well, I expect it would be. Gosh darn it. It's always the same thing. This looks like a slightly different machine. I'm guessing it's the same thing, right? Yep. Okay. A photo. Huh. Well, no. Say about that picture? Well, of course there'd be something about the picture. Guess we'll have to go into the inventory, though. Ah. They obviously fit together. Well, now. Um, I guess. Please tell me I can have to walk th through this, though. Hmm. Why? Just because he hasn't talked to you people? It's not like we've sent any communications back to our mom or anything that we know of. Well, this didn't hit us with the exposition train too hard. I suppose. Yep. No, no, I don't think you did. Uh, well, that man, he, uh, well... It's kind of like, uh, my old man. But don't freak out. What?! <laughs> I'm not, I can't even read it, it's going by so fast. But you have to love how she's freaking out and it's dropping, like, computer air sounds while she does it. <laughs> wow. Speed lines. <laughs> Jeez, how could he do that to my mom? Well, that was. It's no use. She's on a rant right now. Interesting. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so why'd you flip out then? Jeez. Oh, great. They always have to crash the party. It's not really a pleasure, trust me. Uh, that's my personal reason for being here, but actually I'm here to carry out my duty. Work, work, work. Can you just go away? Introduce you to a golem, which we bore from the wisdom of Hades. Code name, Divine Fortress. Asgard. Okay, how evolves? Insert in bed in its chest allows him to record and assess any situation, enabling him to react accordingly by evolutionary uh, 
Analogism. What is that? But that's what's said in the book. That's nothing new. I suppose it does. It's right in front of us and about to kick the crap out of us, I'm sure. Smarter. Well, at least he doesn't go stronger. He just gets better at fighting. Well, I guess we should feel honored that we're considered strong enough to actually help make him better. Whatever we accomplish that, that is. Can you analyze this sucker? Crap. This armor is so strong I can't get through it with my pistols, they're too weak. Okay. I got nothing. Doesn't really resist anything, but he's not weak to anything either. Well, no. I'll keep shooting at him until I hopefully get enough to drop a major Gatling attack on him. Okay. I can't group defend anyone yet. Okay. I'm gonna wish I left healing on um, Virginia's hands at this point. She's the only one fast enough to deal with this sort of stuff. Great, he's powering up for a super move. This is not going well. Your gun's too heavy, man. Okay. Optimizes data, huh? Gotcha. Hit him with a gravity bomb, I guess. Um, let's see. Try to set up a physical barrier here. Missed. Crap. This is not very good fighting, I guess. So he missed. Let's have a defensive barrier anyway. It's gonna help much. At least it's smaller than most other golems. I, mean, I guess we got that going for us. Why right back in my day, the golems were the size of two or size of towers. <sighs> this thing seems hardly worthy of being called a golem. Look at how small it is. Heck, even in Wall Arms Ultimate F, the golems were bigger. Well, no. One, two, three, four, five.
Gatling. Three shots, huh? So I have to get up to 100 to drop them. Um, the full four. Jeez. Even with that many hits, I barely did anything. Oh crap, now Clive's blocked out. Well, I can take the shot or I can reload. Yeah, they need reloading. Data optimization still not really kicked in yet. Well, I should be able to do a lock on shot after this. Where is that? Jeez, how much more does this guy take? Well, no. Take my lock on shot. And now it's starting to rain. That's depressing. Well, even with that, that still hurt. Well, at least it only punches us, I guess. Okay, I guess we managed to beat him up enough for now. Well, he is called the Divine Fortress, what do you expect? <sighs> oh, look, Ray, is he gonna unleash a super move? How did he not break the facility with that attack? Here's a better question, how am I not dead after that? Marvelous, absolutely marvelous. To exhibit such power during a test run, the technology of Hades is astounding. This excellent battle data, much better than expected. Hear myself from future anxiety, I shall deliver the finishing blow. Ah. More company. Hmm. Reinforcements? That's an outrage. They're not one of us. If anything, they're our enemy. What gets me mad is when a familiar face is being bullied by a new face in town. An enemy of my enemy could be my ally, but Asgard has determined you as hostile. Prepare to become its data. Yeah, I'd be concerned about the golem too. Ah, it's a standoff, is it? Ah, smoke bomb, huh? Sly as a fox, huh? So we just gonna escape? I can't blame him, I'd run away too. Ah, she couldn't keep up. But we now have a clue. Not much of one, though.
You didn't rip me off, did you? You hoping they don't follow us? So I was gonna expect after getting the crap kicked out of me. Hmm. You were, huh? Hey, almost anyone would have gotten wasted by that golem. It's super powerful, man. It's called the Divine Fortress for a reason. I need to just get a more powerful weapon. <laughs> Two obstacles, huh? Okay. Yeah, we've run into those. More than our fair share already. But we're not stopping over it. Huh. Well, we're already involved. And I refuse to turn back now. I don't think she's gonna let us go that easily. We really got underneath her skin already. Ah. <laughs> uh. Got that right. How was I in your way? Jeez. That's her hardest? She needs to try harder then. I suppose you did. <sighs> yeah, you did go a bit overboard, but that's not really what concerns me. How about no? That better not be it. Yeah, point. Yeah, it looks like our dad's really involved with that now, doesn't it? Got that right. <laughs> wow. Well, there's danger involved. We want to do it. Well, we've come this far. Let's see this through to the end, together. Plus, the Guardians chose us, so, you know, it's our destiny to save the Wasteland. And once we're all done, let's make sure Granny costs up a hefty reward. After all, she's the one who got us into this. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, our enemies are just piling up. Yeah. On our own, we'd never be able to take on that golem. We really need to get stronger as a team, though. <sighs> we better get confident to bring on when it counts. Really odd couple, though, I have to admit that. Oh, it's fate, alright. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's a faded bond, trust me. <laughs> Jed hasn't said anything yet. Oh, it's gonna be difficult, all right. Yeah, why was it torn in half, though? <sighs> it really is. Okay. We head to my home. It's located south of here in a town called Humphreys Peak. Sounds like a good idea. I suppose it does. So Jet's leaving, huh? I suppose it isn't. Is he a ghost now? Or is he actually there? Jeez. Ah. Uh, that's what I suggest you do. Ah, uh, survive on his own, huh? A reason, huh? Huh. Jeez, I guess he is there. I'm seeing speculation that veils this world. I must atone. Who are you, really? You're a father of Virginia. You raise me and teach me how to survive the wasteland, and you search for answers to the mystery of Fulgaia. What goes on in your mind? What is it that you know? Wait a minute. May know why I don't have any memory of my past, too. Hmm. I have to wonder if he's the hope for the future. And that they created an actual life form that isn't a metal monstrosity. Sort of like the main character from the f first game. Pretend, huh? Was that your plan all along? Reverse psychology? Interesting quote. Huh. Just across the bridge and stay along the shore. Not really. Ah. Uh, whatever. It's not important anymore. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> Got that right. Yeah, let go of my hand. This isn't a contest of wills right now, please. So where exactly did we end up anyway? Oh, not very far from the observatory. Gotcha. Well, I guess I'll stop here for tonight. Till next time, then. See ya.